Okay then guys, um, welcome back to another video, um, I got some love from Chris Gibbs, um, I bought some stuff off him, and I got a big box of goodies, so, um, thanks to this Chris, it's actually, I think, um, you sent me better quality stuff than what I thought it was, so I think I've, uh, I feel like I've underpaid you a bit, but thank you so much mate, if you ever need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask, so, he sent me two rhinos, one's painted blue as the scum of the ultramarines which I've already dismantled into a million little pieces and now I've got, now has got rid, um, and sorry about that, I um, had a phone call. So um, yeah, so Chris Gibbs uh, sent me a box of goodies, so I've already dismantled the one rhino, actually I think I've dismantled the two, yeah they just, they just pulled apart, they, they was, they, the glue's probably that old on them. They didn't hold very well, so one's a bit well, one's in a lot worse state than the other. Um, he sent me some bags. Ooh, I like baggies, I like these resealable bags, I find them very useful to use. Um, so he sent me some bags of bits for upgrade parts and like that, Templars. And oh, that's everything I've so. On the box it does say Rhino Loveliness. So thank you Chris. Um so the end of the first rhino the one which will be reborn as a proper rhino as a under the blackness. So we have the top pieces actually <laughs> I don't even need to paint strip it. The paint's gone on that nice. I won't even have to paint strip this, which is gonna be awesome. No more paint stripping because Army Painter, as you all know, go well. I believe it goes on very thin and nicely compared to the GW one. So, um, there's a bit of a cleaning up bit to do there, but it's this part. I've now taken it apart so I can now paint all my interiors, which is going to be awesome, awesome. The other half, dropping paint pots all over the floor. The back door, the floor piece. Goes to it. He's got, he's even put the little toy hook, so I think that's a nice little next detail. That's one thing I always forget to stick on these. The back panel, which I love painting. Not. The other thing he sent me as well was this vehicle upgrade through. And I completely forget that on the vehicle upgrade through, there is the Land Raider upgrade on this as well. So I'm probably going to save this for, because I might get another Land Raider, I might run two St. Patrick's and. Another Land Raider, I don't know what my next one's be, but make this one. Or if there's any other kit which uses a Land Raider door. Mm hmm, I wonder. I, it's not so much this door. This door I'm interested in. It's these, the two side doors. I mean, on the outside, they look absolutely amazing. I love the scroll work, all these stars and the plate in and everything. But it's this bit. Graded Templar symbols as grips for doors. I think that's amazing. It's even on the Rhino ones. That's really impressive. I do like that a lot. I have to get some. I might make a press mold of that for future reference because that's quite nice. I got some ideas for that. Um, so it comes with the two Rhino doors, which are already used. I can't believe I forgot about the Land Raider doors on this. Um, you get the Templar. McDoodle by ear for the Dreadnought. The front plate for the Rhino. You need these two cool banner things, which I'm probably going to save them for. Well, he's going to go on my future night. My Lancer, when I can actually afford to buy him, I was hoping to get him at Warmer Mania, but my van decided to have one of its usual fucking fan effects. So that's gone out the window. So. That's the next row, and by the way, I love checking sprues. I love the sound of things, the plastic clashing. So that's just a habit of mine. Here's the other rhino, which is going to be going to become a piece of terrain. I would salvage it, but we really need a piece of terrain with rhino, and I'm going to paint it up as a imperial fist one because the my board's grey, well, a grey bluey tone. Everything's dark on it, so I thought a big yellow. Rhino in the middle of it would make it look so much better. So I'm gonna go out buy some Imperial Fist paints. 
and a gog really anyway because I'm doing um, Horace Heresy Imperial Fists at Christmas time so there you go there's another sneak peek of one of the projects for the new year so that's that part of the rhino then there's the top hatch and the salvage that smoke launcher off that for the other rhino don't know what I'm going to do with these hatches quite top this one off See if I can pop them off because I want to reuse that. I really want to clean up the hatches and reuse them. You never get enough of these kits. Yeah. Will it pop off? Mm. You need a bit of knife. Um, and we got all the spare bits which come with that rhino. So we've got the doors. I actually do need these side doors as well. So I can make my lair proud kit a rhino as well. All the extra door bits I need. And. Um, we have some sword bread. Now these are fine cast and yes, I know I slate the shit out of fine cast because fine cast is shit. Yes, fine cast is shit. But when I seen the pictures of these ones for fine cast, I actually thought they ain't bad. And they're not heavy like the metal ones. The problem the metal ones is um, I painted them about two or three months ago, if anybody remembers, I think in March time. And sometimes they keep doing this, having a stroke and chipping all the paint off on the front even when put hard coat varnish on it so these have to these are actually really nice quality for fine cast a couple of bits of fashion which chris has missed on the side but not to criticize him it's just i'm very picky and the joys of royal mail kick in models or your boxes so now he has a, a wonky sword poor bastard so there's the other one. That's my favourite one. I like the pose. It looks really nighty like that. So there's the other one. Um, let's get these last two generic guys out of the way because these two are the two generic guys. I've got like multiples of these. These two I've got multiples of because I think this brings with the 14 Soul Brethren, but these two are the most common ones I could find on Bits websites and they get kind of boring to paint. And then we have the cool one. We have Wolverine in black armour bit of a bend for there but nothing I can't fix for my amazing magical powers and I just broke it that's called me being impatient so I'll have to fix that <sighs> never patient when it comes to new stuff so there, there's the sword river and um, mm, actually a bit put more there it's like a some moulding glue on him to hold that they always break the floors anyway they're a nightmare. You like cage them up and back and bubble wrap when you put them away. So there we have the cute little bag of bits. Very cute. I like. I like bits. Not those kind of bits, but I I do generally like bits which make things cool. So you got these ammo pouches. I absolutely love that sword on my vehicles. I might paint that up and add that to the top of my um, Land Raider. Who knows? Um, all these badge bits, which actually I don't use enough of. I think I've got hundreds of these. Are the bits I've got hundreds of, and I kind of wanted to make a press mold on this one. Really long nails, I have. So I can scratch the crap out of things. Like, make that into a press mold and start putting those shoulder pads, but I think it worked out slightly too big, and the skull was just stretching. When you put it on, and I also wanted to put this one on the shoulder pad as well because that one just looks cool. I like that one. Another looky one, and you got this one. You know the wings and the symbol in the middle. Then you got two ammo pouches. You've got the two lanterns. I do, I do like. Actually, you no, know, I got three lanterns. Ooh, I'm spoiled, Chris. You shouldn't have done that. Um, Holster, a pistol, and another ammo pouch. It's actually quite enough, actually, just to do my next Crusader squad. Still buying more bits, um, so I think I have to get some of the shoulder pads next and make some. Well, I can have a go at it because I'm now starting to do a lot more green stuff. Green stuff, I'm trying to make some of the chapter symbols by hand, which I've done on the Land Raider, which I don't get the time to record in it. I haven't uploaded the part three, one of the final parts, and just now. The only thing I like known for the Land Raider is the Redeemer upgrade sprue, so I can magnetize all those weapons and paint them up. So I have all three Land Raiders, and I spent 
50 quid and I get all three Land Raiders in one model, which to be honest with you, that saved me an arm and a leg. Um, the backpacks for the uh, Soul Brethren. I actually have to buy loads more of these. It's ridiculous how many I've gone through and lost. Mm, what else did Chris? I'm sure Chris sent me something else. No love letter, which I was quite disappointed with. Hmm, yeah, that's pretty disappointing. Yeah, that's a pretty good buy, that was. So, thanks for that, Chris. Um, uh, hope you like my little ramble of me rubbing in all my new toys, which you guys didn't get. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.